Social feminism began as a cultural Marxist substrategy in the early to mid 20th century, designed to undermine and atomize Western families by disempowering the white male working class. And this has been the only target group of feminism from the 1930s until today. However, over the past 20 years, it has transformed its complexity into a civilizational scale shit test that women at some level wanted white men to overcome. They wanted a firm hand, but instead they got whatever will make you happy, honey. The men of our civilization failed this colossal shit test. The best example of this at present is the veneration that feminists and liberal single white females give to Islam, and radical Islam in particular. There seems to be a sexual attraction by these women for the totalitarian masculine dominance that they themselves have chased out of the West. This is the only rational explanation for such an odd alliance. And if it is true, then what does it really mean? Single white women don't want to be appeased. They don't want to be indulged. They don't want to be catered to, coddled, or placated. They don't want their tears dried or their complaints addressed. They don't want men to listen to their words. They want men to watch what they do and respond with a requisite, dignified, and dominant masculinity. They want to submit to a man and to a society worthy of their submission. Single white women individually and collectively shit test men through the male achievement of civilized society. Our shared single white woman problem is a civilization scale shit test, and men of the West have and continue to spectacularly fail this test. It's high time the white men of the West learned old style game and brought their women to heel. The alternative is a cuckolded, absolutely complete civilizational death.